Who is Nikola Tesla and why is he important? Nikola Tesla is uh, this scientist uh, who immigrated here to the U.S. Uh, because he wanted to study with Edison. And because uh, he had this uh, unique perspective uh, on the world, really, right, he uh, kind of came upon this uh, alternative currents. And it's through alternative currents that he was able to make a more efficient way to uh, uh, carry, you know, it's a different type of a, a current, right, for electricity. Uh, Thomas Edison at the time, that's the guy he really wanted to meet. That's the guy he wanted to work with. That was his lifelong dream. Uh, he was real famous uh, for, you know, making the light bulb and, and all that and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but he was really pushing direct current. It's through direct current um, that he was making, you know, his, his moolah, right? His dough. Uh, and he saw Tesla as, uh, you know, there's a bunch of interpretations, but, you know, like, one, as a threat, uh, and two, as just the nutcase. He honestly, he just didn't uh, see eye to eye with him as far as the alternative currents and the direct currents. Um, he thought it was uh, just irrational, you know, he thought it couldn't work. So they, they had this whole little feud, uh, their whole lives. Uh, and it was highly publicized. I mean, they, they <laughs> uh, Edison was famous for, or, you know, uh, the feud was famous for uh, Edison, um, uh, I think at one point he electrocuted a live elephant to show how dangerous alternative currents can be. Um, but yeah, that's how, that's how intense uh, Edison was. So that was um, the thing, uh, right, that was the feud, that was a, a big deal. Uh, in the scientific community, a lot of people just sided with Edison. That was uh, he was the he was the big he was the big guy right he was uh, I guess something similar would be today with uh, global warming he would be the Al Gore right he's calling the shots um, maybe that's a bad oh, got bit by an ant maybe that was a bad analogy but either way it's the closest thing I could think of um, or it's pretty damn similar actually yeah because if you say anything against global warming um, you know you're you're crazy. Uh, that's that was Tesla. He was uh, calling against it. Tesla uh, went on to create a bunch of uh, you know he, he had over in his lifespan he had he made over uh, he has over 700 patents. So uh, you know he was doing all right, you know, but still it's that perception that was built around him that he couldn't shake off. Uh, similar to let's say I mean you know different. Apple to oranges, but you know, there's something to compare to uh, Mark Zuckerberg, no matter what he does, people always look at him as an asshole because of what he did, um, or, or at least how, how people uh, think what he did through uh, the social network, you know, in the movie. So he was, looked at this he was looked at as this crazy guy because he would always, uh, the, the way he talked, you know, he was a very fantastical dude, he was a little eccentric, and he would talk about death rays. Um, extra, you know, he believed in extraterrestrials. Um, and then this, to me, is the most interesting of all his, uh, damn, there's a lot of fucking ants. The most interesting thing to me that supposedly he did create, um, he had the system to, uh, use the earth as a, unless, I'm paraphrasing here, but something where he uses the earth as a conductor, um, using the ionosphere or something like that. Uh, but pretty much ener free energy, energy from nothing, right? And uh, JP Morgan was funding his project uh, under, under the belief that it was uh, for uh, what, what do you think it was? Uh, travel? Communication? Some kind of communication a project? Which it would have also done, but it would have been like this this thing where you can transfer images, uh, audio, you know, uh, the electricity, and I think he even said matter, if done, if, you know, tested a little further. But, uh, 
yeah, dude, like, I don't know. That is insane. This is, like, stuff from the Jetsons, you know? Um, I mean, it, it was a big, it was a big deal. Like, whenever he did talk like that, uh, you never knew. He could, I mean, he could have actually done it. Um, we'll never know, though, because, you know, J.P. Morgan, as soon as he found out what he was doing, he cut off the funding because he says, uh, or he said that he couldn't make a profit on him, you know, on that. If everyone had the power to the tap, then what would be the point? So, um, fuck, there's just, that is all ants. <laughs> I'm walking into it if, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I wonder where the, <laughs> I wonder where the world would be if, uh, he was a little more respected. If, uh, if he had the funding he wanted. For a little while he did with Westinghouse, George Westinghouse. But, um, after the J.P. Morgan thing, a lot of people backed out. Again, it's ball, you know, a lot of times these things are just perception, right? If it doesn't look good, people back out. So, he, uh, he's one of those suppressed minds, you know? And there's plenty out there today. Uh, do a Google search for zero point energy, which is, uh, pr pretty much the same thing. You know, this free energy. Uh, energy out of nothing. And, uh, there's other stuff, you know, like you've probably seen stuff on YouTube, uh, people who run their cars on water and uh, or get a hundred miles per gallon on gas uh, but you know you never see that on the market and something I mean this, this is where conspiracy theorists have a field day because uh, it just seems like a weird coincidence that all these brilliant minds uh, disappear yeah but anyways Tesla just you know disappeared in a different way he he passed away on, uh, oh, that is gross. Someone took, that is human shit. That is <laughs> human shit. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, curious. There are statements I made when I believed people would listen to me, at least as regards certain things which are important for us all. But now it makes no difference. But how come you are here at all? I mean, in my hotel room. I haven't been visited by anyone for a very long time. Which paper will you be publishing this in? As a matter of fact, I'm a freelance reporter. Mr. Tesla, you were once a very wealthy man. You worked with J.P. Morgan, didn't you? We were given a great opportunity. And what was that opportunity? It had to do with the course mankind has chosen and the one it might have chosen, which would have led in a very different direction. 